Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows 10 is not detecting your second monitor setup on your Windows computer. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in settings. Best match should say settings directly above trust in Microsoft Store app. You want to proceed to left click on that to open it up. And now you want to left click on the system tile. And now on the left side here, you want to left click on display. And if you scroll down, this is multiple displays. Older displays might not always connect automatically. Select detect to try and connect them. So left click on the detect button right here. So if you had multiple displays and you clicked on this detect button, it probably would detect them and it would launch a wizard and hopefully it would show up on the other side of the screen. But however, since I'm in a virtual environment and I only have one monitor here, it's only going to show one screen. But if you click on this detect button, it would scan and hopefully it would pick up if you had a second monitor set up. If we close out of here and we open up the start menu and went underneath device manager. I would also recommend going into the display adapters here by expanding the view by clicking the little arrow next to it or double clicking on display adapters. And whichever display adapter is listed here, I would recommend right-clicking on it and updating the driver software. And I recommend you search automatically at first. Now, if you have your second monitor, I'd recommend if you had any DVDs that might have come with it, that you install them into your computer. If not, I'd recommend going onto the publisher's website and downloading any display drivers for that. So, for example, if you had an uh, Acer monitor, you could always just type in Acer monitor driver. And it's just one example I'm just throwing out there. So we could select download drivers and manuals. And you can also left click on this find button here that will scan your computer. So if you have your serial number or model number, you could just type it in right here. Or you can actually go through and select the device. So you could just go down and select the monitor, what series it would be in, and then what kind of model and then it will give you additional options to download drivers for that respective software. So you can see plus one driver, you can see there's a driver software listed right here. Download it right from here. So that's another way I'd recommend doing that and just if you have any other monitors just go and do it like that as well. But I would recommend trying the Windows method through the settings and then display options. I think that's definitely a cool little feature and I believe that's newer in Windows 10. I don't believe that was included in older versions of the Windows 10 OS. So if you're running a newer version of Windows 10, you have a couple new options here. But I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.